Now to the major flood threat across the upper Midwest. Rescue operations in Nebraska and what's being called the worst flooding in decades. Residents say that water rushed in so quickly they had little time to prepare. More than half the counties in Nebraska, several in Iowa have declared emergencies. Come in like it's going to be a normal morning, but it was busy right away fighting the water. The culvert out front was pushing water right into our front doors. And a couple of us got on the equipment the company has and started moving snow to divert the water from shooting into the front doors. But it was a lost cause. Oh, man. So at that point, it's unplug everything, get everything off the ground kill the power because uh, we're having issues getting close to outlets and all that so got that taken care of and then we got everybody out of here. Throughout that day we we're just kind of dealing with an isolated situation there in the Albion area um, but then things started to kind of go south on us. You know the Elkhorn River and the Platte River they kind of meet toward Waterloo and that's kind of when you know things kind of got out of control as, as those two rivers met. Every year we do our emergency response training and, and that kind of goes over a, a broad array of, of the scenarios we may encounter. Obviously this, I think they called it a 500 year flood, was just kind of the perfect storm. And we had limited time to respond to certain areas. Luckily we had the Albion area and other areas were, were kind of giving us a heads up as to what was coming down the pike. And so we were able to take advantage of that and, and shut off certain areas of meters where we knew we'd be impacted. The big problem was down at the TBS, at the you know where it comes in from the utility. That was uh, pretty much a total loss. And so, Black Hills, you know, worked with Northern Natural Gas, and uh, we're able to get that fixed with the temporary town border station that's there right now. Dave and his guys kept us up to date on uh, what was going on with the reconstruction. It's always good to pick up the phone and call the utility and have somebody there that's able to help you out in your time of need, and we had a lot of need. The water is here and so are the workers. It's now a 24 hour a day job. The people of Hamburg hope that the levees, though, are as strong as their willpower. I got the call that we were going to experience a catastrophic failure amongst the systems in our communities, that the levees were failing, that they had made makeshift levees in the middle of town trying to do anything they could to save the community, and every effort they'd made failed. It was very eerie, I'm going to say, as we stood there and watched the waters rise. Everybody was in disbelief as they just were unsure of how far this water was going to go and what that meant. You know, anytime something like that goes on, you're thinking, okay, it's not going to be that bad. But, you know, as the day went on, you, you could stand on the street and visually see the water coming up the street. You know it's bad. There is water coming from the Missouri River all the way up through town, past the flagpoles, past a barrier that broke early this morning, and into door to door all of the businesses here in town. I got down there early enough to see the water coming over the barrier and the barrier give way, and you know, a few hours later it was just full of water. You know, most all them people north of E Street, you know, they didn't get anything out. You know, they, they lost everything. We knew the water was flooding into areas uh, that we had not shut off the system. Those areas had not been evacuated, people literally still living in their homes. They were grabbing their clothing and their kids and their toys and evacuating their homes as the water was literally rising around their homes. You know, it wasn't just water and property, it was people and pets and jobs and lives. We felt pretty good because the water didn't get upstairs. But the people had lost everything. You felt sorry for them. I mean, it was bad. I don't think it took 45 minutes to fill up to our house. And I went down to the basement and was going to get some stuff out of the deep freeze. Water started running down the basement so fast. I grabbed the wrong stuff. My wife said, you should have grabbed the pecans. <laughs> I a much larger portion of the town than even the Corps of Engineers thought would flood. 
flooded. And we had a decision to make, and it was honestly probably one of the hardest decisions <laughs> as a group we all had to make. We were possibly going to lose our regulating station. Everybody knew that if we turned off the gas to the town, what that meant. <laughs> but also everybody knew what it meant to leave it on because there were areas we hadn't gotten to. So you could go down there and you could see houses completely underwater but they were lit up like Christmas because the lights were still on <laughs> and we had live gas to those houses. So as much as everybody knew how much of battle this would be afterwards, we ended up turning off gas to the entire town. And we have to keep in mind it was mid-March. We had a very long and severe winter. We had nights that were still getting down to upper 30s, low 40s, and people needed heat. Um, so I knew there would be consequences. A lot of that was planning and stuff that if we were to normally do would take months. Everybody got together and it got pulled off within days. It was amazing. Within 24 hours, our welder had built a station. Within hours, we had our crews down there digging up the lines, trying to cap off what we knew we could save and get prepared for building this new DRS, which in 24 hours is almost unheard of. Yeah, Black Hills was amazing during this whole ordeal. In a matter of a few days, electricity and gas was restored. Um, they worked uh, endlessly. And not only that, their kindness towards people. Um, these people are stressed out, they don't have much. And to have a local provider, not only fixing things and helping them, but being kind to them and assisting them, it was excellent to see. And we're very grateful as a school system too. They came here and provided a meal for people and just their cheerfulness and their encouragement for everyone, it meant a great deal to our community. And a lot of times patrons don't get to see that. So we're extremely thankful for that. They were losing everything. Um, but they'd come talk to us, say, you know, thanks for coming, thanks for doing what you're doing. To see help like that come into our town and just blanket us with concern and care and getting us back, I mean, the whole town was overwhelmed. I always just said a little prayer. Make everything be okay, keep everybody safe, that's all you can do just safety and we are blessed because nobody was hurt. It's just been a mass cooperation of everybody working together as a team no matter where they were from or who they worked for in this town to help each other and Black Hills Energy was a big part of that. We took away as a point of pride and as serious thanks uh, on behalf of the Iowa team was all the support and help we got from outside of Western Iowa. You know, we're all in this together. We're willing to help out. You need us to go here, we'll be there for you. Everybody just bands together and, you know, it takes a village. Black Hills Energy was everywhere. I mean, you didn't go anywhere without seeing a truck. <laughs> you're going from house to house and, and you see a Black Hills truck. You know you're not alone. And, and we're there and we're taking care of this town. And that's, that's what we do. We're not just a gas company. I was so proud of our employees because they all did their part. And that was important. Everybody here is family and our customers are family and it, it showed 100% in this flood. When they see something that needs done, they're going to do it. If they see that you could use a third hand, they're going to step in and help. I'm just amazed that, uh, you know, the dedication is when you have an event like this that uh, they went out there and, re and responded the way they responded. We weren't perfect, but we got it right. We didn't have any heroic efforts out there, but we had a lot of heroes out there.